your dick, nigga. Oh, please, nigga. Fuck off. Man, every fool in this town got somebody who want to clap. Look, man. Mike on Trevor, they should be inside. Can you stay out here and let us know when the bad dudes is coming? I got it, man. I'll holler at This could be it. Our showdown with a private army. And you're bringing a rifle? Yeah, I'm bringing a rifle. It's a good gun. It'll get the job done. Hey, man, what the fuck am I doing risking my ass trying to save y'all ass if we just gonna kill each other? Hey, you're not saving me. You're saving him. Ah, oh, you're saving this fat fuck. Man, y'all gotta keep y'all fucking heads right and end this shit. If not, man, I'll put bullets in both of you motherfuckers. Hey, they here? I know them when I see them, homie. They creep. All right, good. Y'all hear that? Now, if we doing this shit, man, it's either now or never. Come on, Trevor. Fuck it! Over there. All right, where you want me? You hold your position right there. Okay. I'm gonna go over there. Near the building. Watch your step. Gee, all the guy wait.
There you are, you dick! And what was the problem? I took a knock. I was sitting out a few rounds. It's good to know you care. Yeah, well, don't do it again. Watch out! Another FIB oh, team man. on the way! What the fuck? Oh. Exactly, for now. So, ho, 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 ho. what's next, huh? We're just gonna wait around till someone kills us, or are we gonna wait until this fucker gets turned again? Fight me. Ain't anybody getting turned again, and you know it. Hey, man, the way I see it, we only just begun to clean this shit up. We got a lot of old friends I think need to be re-educated. A lot of friends. I mean, things could get really messy. No, we just gotta silence a few noises. What the hell, yo, let me see, there's, uh... Steve Haynes. Dave Norton. No, we need him alive. Why? So nobody fucks with us afterwards. What about that tribe, motherfucker? The one that think you two boys is dating? Shit, you know he bound to come back. Yep, there's that. Well, who's the, uh, the guy who set up Lamar? Hmm? Stretch, you wanna throw him in? Shit, Trevor throw anyone in, just to satisfy his bloodlust. Whoa, hey! It's called a fucking loose end, all right? And if we're gonna be men of peace and tranquility, we tie up loose ends. Man, Stretch has been a liability. 
they were gonna have to take care of our old pals Devin Weston and Steve Haynes. Oh, fuck, what a mess, man. Well, let's get it cleaned up. How about you get Lester on the line? Who is this? Uh, stop calling this number. Hey, it's me, dawg. <laughs> You're alive. I thought someone might have your phone. Nah, nah, but look, I got you on speakerphone. Oh, did Mike make it? Yeah, I'm here. And the other one? <clears throat> See you putting the ground wheels. Uh-huh. You, um, just calling for a chat? No, we got some work to do. Can you get us some whereabouts? Oh, I'll do my best. Who? Steve Haynes, to start. And Devin Weston's ass. And, uh, Wei Ching. W-E-I-C-H-E-N-G. Wei Chang. Wei Chang. And Franklin's pal, Stretch. Huh. Stretch? Yeah, man, look, his real name is Harold Joseph. Okay, well, I can tell you that Agent Haynes is taping a show over on Del Perro Pier. Shooting permit came up immediately. Shut it! Oh, I wanted to ice that fucker since the moment I met him. All right, all right. Ah, I got a signal from Mr. Harold Joseph's phone over at the B.J. Smith Recreation Center. No, I got him. I got him. Let's keep him clear of uh, known associates. All right, thanks, dawg. You got it. What you got for me? Tao Ching's credit card just bought a Magnum at the Beach Club in Pacific Bluffs. Okay, I'll go ask his ass about his punk-ass dad. When I find Mr. Weston, I'll send the coordinates. All right, good. All right, we made our plans. Let's stick to them. We take out our assigned target. Any deviation will lead to confusion and probably failure. We got one shot at this, guys. All right, let's do this shit. Enterprise, main campus. All right, Ron. What's happening, Trevor? We're undergoing a transition. Oh, yeah? I think that Chinese problem might be taken care of, and there's money in the bank. Well, the O'Neills are gone, and the bikers ain't showing up again. So we're rich and at peace. Long as the forces of corporate darkness don't identify us as a threat, there's nothing to hold us back. Yeah. I guess we're all out of excuses. I'm moving on Haynes. Les, see if you can patch me into his radio mic. I want a last reminder of what an annoying and prick he is. Los Santos. A city of saints. A city of sinners. And nothing in between but the FIB. Cut! Grr, this is crap. Who writes this bullshit anyway? Okay, all right. You got this framed right? Yeah, you're looking great. Is the chin? How's the chin? Oh, sharp. All right, the audio's clean? Nice. Uh, well, say something. Uh, check, check, check. Yeah, it's great. Okay, fine. We're on. I'm ready. You ready? Speed. All right, let's do this, people. I'm a professional. Let's go. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Steve Haynes. Hi. Whoa! This is Los Santos. A city of celluloid. A city of scumbags. The last great American melting pot. Two parts diluted fantasy, one part degenerate reality. Mix! And this is the result. Throw in a senior FIB agent, and you've got a unique look of what's really going on under the hood. This is a land of dreams. Shit, bro. I think you might be... Stop! Cut! Cut. Oh, God, that's a cliché, man. Dreams, man. That's a cliché. What? 
No, I know it's really good. Just do a cutaway. I'll pick it up. No, I'll pick it up. I got something good. Ready? <clears throat> Rolling. Throw in a senior FIB agent, and you've got a unique look at what happens when dreams and reality Do it. Let's go home. Woo! Look, I don't care that she's an intern. <laughs> Just get this thing going, all right? trying to break the order of things. Problem no more, Frank. Shit, he wasn't my pal. He was a dude who ganked us, homie. Thanks. Who's up? I hit the boy chain. Don't worry, I'm on him. He's leaving the Beast Club. I'm gonna do it now.
getting through here. How much is asshole paying you? I hope it was worth it. Got Mr. Weston. Let's take him out of the city, make him disappear. Meet me on the cliffs off the GOH, Chiliad Mountain State Wilderness. Shit! Resourceful guy getting past those trained killers. I need someone like you in my organization. The CEO position's gonna be vacant real soon, Slick. I've got nothing against you, apart from the obvious hygiene issues. Michael caused me problems, so Michael had to go. You're looking at him rationally. There are people who are useful to you and people who ain't, and the people who ain't gotta go. Me? I'm not rational. I don't care if you're useful or not. I feel like taking you out, Devo. That's what I'm doing. This is a serious offer. Work for me. You'll have everything you'll ever wanted. All I've ever wanted is to watch you drift in and out of consciousness as you're slowly disemboweled. Yes! Yes! That's the kind of creativity I need on my team. Come on! Come on! Get me out of here! Look! I got my own company, Trevor Phillips Industries. Oh, yeah, a, a fellow entrepreneur. Let me buy a steak and give you money to grow. I don't know if you heard, but I'm kind of gold rich right now, so you got precisely nothing to offer. Prepare for the end, my friend. You creepy bum! Name's your price. Find a happy place, you zen cock! You don't want me as an enemy! I told them I wouldn't kill you! I didn't say anything about cutting your tongue out! People want to kill you. You won't shut up. Here we are, Slick, with a few minutes for some one on one time.
Hey, we good, T? Never better, amigo. Franklin? I'll be here. <laughs> Franklin. Hey, what's up? I assume you got him? Ooh, safe and sound. Ain't that right, buddy? <laughs> hey, my bad, homie. I pick C. Ain't that a bitch? You know, Devin, the way I see it, and hey, I'm no intelligent businessman like you, but the way I see it, there's two great evils that bedevil American capitalism of the type that you practice. Number one is outsourcing. You paid a private company to do your dirty work for you, and then you underpaid that company because you thought you were big enough and bad enough that you didn't have to play by the rules. Oh, number two. Offshoring your profits. Offshoring? Oh, it's horrible. You wouldn't want to be sent offshore just to save a little money, would you, T? Oh, no, Franklin? I wouldn't. Oh, no, I ain't would going you nowhere. No, see, but we know your opinions on the matter, Devin. Keep your problems the fuck out of America, huh? <laughs> In this instance, when he puts it like that, it makes sense. Of course it does. Hey, Devin, goodbye, my old friend. Thanks for all the advice. Bye-bye. Now what? Now we keep a low profile and get on with our lives. As friends. Well, do I have a choice? No, not really. All right, then. As uh, flawed, awful, totally uncomfortable, and poorly matched friends. Absolutely. Oh, that's perfect. Then we can get back to the kind of capitalism we practice. Shit, I don't know how much more better that is than Devin's con. Ooh, hypocrisy, Franklin. Civilization's greatest virtue. Jesus, your therapist has a lot to answer for. I know, I still hate myself. But hey, at least I know the words for it now. Yeah, but I hate you, and I know the words for it. So does that mean I don't have to go to therapy? Look, man, you two motherfuckers terrify me of that middle age. I'm good. You're right to be afraid, Franklin. Yeah. Be very afraid, Franklin. <laughs> Tell you one thing, T. I'm getting too old for this nonsense. Oh. 